Hello everyone. Ever wondered what it's like to spend 48 hours on a sinking ship, uncertain about the future? Or how about taking a cruise through the stormiest place on Earth? Today, we've got some gripping and spine-chilling tales from the high seas that could easily serve as inspiration for a disaster movie. Look how hard it is to stay afloat, even for such a giant. The tropical cyclone that hit the shores of Madagascar could have easily sunk this ship. The wind speed that day reached about 45 miles per hour. But the crew was incredibly lucky to have a brave and experienced captain. He skillfully docked the vessel in this intense situation though it took three toes instead of the usual one or two. Messing up in the Sea of Japan is a big no-no, and here's the proof right in front of us. This ship loaded with cars got caught up in the middle of a wild storm. Massive 26-foot waves engulfed the vessel, sweeping away everything from the deck. Even though people survived the storm, the ocean claimed 52 out of the 64 cars. Atlantic Ocean can get pretty wild, and the people on the Anthem of the Seas cruise learned that firsthand. The ship was set to cruise from New Jersey to Florida, but Mother Nature had other ideas. A fierce storm hit the 4,500 passengers and 1,600 crew members almost as soon as they set sail. As waves several dozen feet high crashed through the liner's windows, passengers could only hope that the liner would be able to withstand the strain. Thank goodness the captain decided to go back to port. It likely saved numerous lives. Picture what a total nightmare this story could have turned into. When you think of Italy, you always imagine pizza and turquoise seas, but definitely not wild storms like this. A massive 354-foot cargo ship got stuck on the shores of southwest Sardinia after a fierce storm. Even with air and naval teams on the scene, the wild weather held off the rescue of the crew until morning. Although this story ended well, just picture the tough hours those people had to endure, trapped by Mother Nature. Enjoying a cruise in the Gulf of Mexico is fantastic, unless you find yourself stranded at sea for nearly a whole week. A huge cruise ship called the Triumph was slammed by winds, going up to a whopping 70 miles per hour. Kissing it! Kissing it! Oh! Connection, baby! Holy moly! 
Unfortunately, the ship collided with another ship and sustained serious damage. Because of the rough weather and the fact that this 14-story giant couldn't be towed right away, the 800 people on board had to endure a solid five days without electricity and with toilets that were barely working. Definitely not the vacation they had in mind. Sometimes even the most powerful ships have to withstand the elements. For example, the DDG-105, an American destroyer launched in 2008, was caught in a storm. Even though the ship has top-notch weapons and electronics, it struggled against waves that were several feet high. Check out how it looked like from the crew's perspective. A nightmare that lasted two days. That's how one can describe the situation in which nearly 1,400 passengers and crew members of the Viking cruise liner Careful, found themselves. The ship was sailing from Norway to the shores of the Thames when a strong storm began at sea. The ship's engine failed, and 25-foot waves started rocking the Viking, and the ship began to fill with water. It took a solid 48 hours for the rescue mission. People got out as fast as they could, with helicopters and boats in action. Huge props to the rescuers. Their smooth teamwork made sure that no one got hurt in this terrible incident. Touching down a helicopter on a ship is already a tough feat in aviation, but doing it in a storm is a skill reserved for the most seasoned pilots. Now check out what it looks like from the cockpit. This is awesome! That's what being a real pro is all about. The life of a sailor can be extremely unpredictable. From surprise waves, to the daily routine. What are the reasons that men don't live as long as women? Well, sometimes it's as simple as trying out a brand new boat in the midst of a storm with waves that are around 13 feet high. Seriously though, we've got lifeguards right in front of us, and obviously they've got to check their gear, even in the most extreme situations. witnessed $400 million go up in smoke? Well, now you can say you have. Here's what happened. A big fire went down on this cargo ship loaded with cars out in the Atlantic. We're talking almost 4,000 vehicles. And yeah, there were tons of Porsches, 
Audis, Bentleys, and Lamborghinis on board. Experts say the damage could be anywhere from $334 to $401 million. As for the moral damages of the companies and car owners, no one's even trying to put a number on that. Australia's got it all. Snakes, spiders, sharks, and some of the strongest storms you've ever seen. Just ask the captain of that cargo ship, who lost a whopping 83 containers when he sailed out at the worst possible time. And don't even get me started on the tons of plastic and debris that ended up on the nearby beaches afterward. I bet those vacationers didn't really appreciate that. Check out this massive storm in the Arctic Ocean. Watching it on video is already mind-blowing, but just imagine seeing it live. There are moments when the storm isn't just out there, it's also going on inside the ship. This video's scary. So much so that even people scared of flying would probably pick flying over taking a ship after seeing it. Lifeguards are no strangers to the unpredictable weather, and these courageous individuals quickly answered a distress call from a fishing boat that went down in rough conditions. With only an inflatable boat, they hurried to rescue four people stranded by the forces of nature. Even with six-foot waves and wind gusts of 50 miles per hour, they still managed to get the fishing boat and save the victims. The Titanic could use rescuers like that. After watching this video, I have a feeling you'll appreciate your office job a bit more. The Drake Passage, situated between South America and Antarctica, is notorious as the most treacherous sea route. With fierce winds, unpredictable weather, towering waves and lurking icebergs, navigating this stretch is a real nightmare for any sailor. Even cargo ship captains prefer avoiding it, let alone cruise ships. 
takes you between Antarctica and South America. We're heading back now. We had a relatively quiet passage coming over. But now it's payback time. The North Atlantic is known for its wild storms, but kudos to the Danish Air Force pilots for skillfully landing the helicopter even in such rough weather. Just think about how nice it is to be comfy in front of your screen, instead of being out at sea in the cold northwest England weather. Hey, if you get motion sickness even in the car, you might want to glance away for a few seconds. If you embark on a lengthy boat trip, make sure that you're ready to switch things up often. <laughs> Strong waves don't spare even such giants. As you can see, I don't know about the yacht, but I can't imagine the owner enjoys it much when his yacht starts dipping its nose underwater. <laughs> Sailors need a tough stomach and a solid sense of balance, as not everyone can handle the rocking motion out at sea. Picture yourself in your cabin, gazing out of the ship window as you cruise through the Bay of Biscay, when out of nowhere, a massive 30-foot wave knocks at your window. The sea might surprise you at a refreshing moment whenever it feels like it. How 
strong was that blow? The wave broke the windows. 